Hello everybody. So I am going to show you guys. I posted yesterday about um, a brow, our brow palette, my brow palette bundle thing. And I had a lot of people who were like, I've never used a brow palette. And like, I'm a little afraid of a brow palette. So I wanted to jump on here today and show you guys how easy it is to use a brow palette. It really is kind of, it's a lot like paint by numbers. It tells you, you have your numbers here and you'll know exactly what to do. So I am going to show you how to get a masterful looking brow with a brow palette. Super, super easy, okay? So you've got your two colors up here. Um, you're lighter and you're darker. I will say that the, our brow palette specifically comes in light, medium, or dark. This is the light one. Um, but each of them is going to have two colors, one that's going to be a little darker than the other one, right? So the way I like to do it is I like to start with that lighter color, and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to draw the bottom line of where I want my brow to be, straight up to the arch. There you go, just that bottom line there. And then I'll take it down to where I want the brow to end, which should be right about along that line right there, okay? So I take it down to there. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. Straight line, perpendicular to the other one, right where I want the brow to be to the arch. There we go. And down from there. Now, what's the darker color? Oh, let me fill in a little bit. What's the darker color for? Well, the darker color is gonna be really good on any very sparse areas you uh, have. So. Up here, I have like a little bald area. I'm gonna use a little bit of that darker. Down at the end, where I had to make it a little bit longer, I'm gonna use a little bit of that darker because it's going to even all that out, right? So I have my light color and my dark color there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and brush the brow up and then down to make sure I have the right shape and all the hairs going in the right direction, right? Then I am going to, let's see here, just a second. I am gonna take this brow wax over here. Oh, just a second. I'm skipping stuff. So that's my one and twos. Then my three is this light pink color. So you have this light pink and this light white, and those are for highlighting areas. So the light pink is going to look really nice as a highlight right under that arch, just under it, just a little bit of that light pink. It's not so light, like I'm obviously not wearing any pink today. It's not going to um, make it look like all of a sudden I'm wearing pink on my eyes. It is just going to give it a little hint of color to really pull definition to that arch, which is what you want. And then this light white here is gonna be really great for a cleanup color on a, as a highlight on the other side. So I'm gonna go through with this and clean up around all that outside area. And I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. Really, we're really looking for just a little bit of a highlight, right? So I did my one and twos to create my brows. My three is to highlight under the brow, and my four here is to highlight above the brow. And then I just go in with my five, which is my brow um, wax, and this is just to keep everything right where it is and right where I want it, right? There we go, five. And there we go, a perfect brow, and it's just the one, two, three, four, five. So let's do the other side. I'll go a little faster since you've already seen me do one. I'm gonna take my lighter color and I'm gonna draw in my bottom brow line right there and a little bit down here there we go and then I'm going to do the same thing perpendicular on the top All right create that brow that I want there we are same thing taking it down I'm going to do a little bit of filling in here there we go and then I'm going to look if, if I have any sparse places I have a couple I'm going to hit those up with that darker color because it's gonna make it look a little more natural. It's gonna fill it in just a little bit better. All right, so now I'm gonna brush, brush up, 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 and down. Got a good, going pretty well there. I need to darken this side up a little bit more so it matches the other one. Brows are sisters, not twins. Do not freak out if your brows do not look exactly the same, especially the first time you try to fill them. It definitely takes, it has a little learning curve. Okay, they're a little better now. So then I'm gonna, I've used my one and two. I'm gonna go in with my three, which is my light pink, and I'm gonna highlight just under the arch, just to pull a little bit of attention to that arch area there. There we go. And then I'm gonna go in the other side of my brush with my white and clean up and highlight right above the brow, just like that. There we go. All filled there. 
And then I am going to take my number five, one, two, three, four, my number five, my brow wax, and hit up right on top of the brow to make sure everything stays right where I put it. And if you want after that, you can do another little a spoolie brush through it too, just to make sure that wa the wax is, you know, got everything exactly right. And there we go. Paint by number brows with the brow palette. One, two, three, four, five, that easy, perfect brow. It really is incredible. You wanna have a good brush and you wanna have a good spoolie. This is our um, brow artist brush that comes as part of the uh, bundle that I put together, but a good spoolie is helpful too. Oh, good, Claire, I'm glad I could help. Yeah, these other colors are really what is gonna take your brows from like a normal fill to like the really like professional looking when you have that highlight right under and over. That is what's gonna make the big difference. So I hope that helped. I hope for any of you out there, if you have a brow palette, you feel a little more comfortable using it. Um, if you don't and you'd like to get one, let me know. Or even if you're just trying it yourself, remember if you have a couple different brown eyeshadows and maybe a lighter color that you can use for some of this, you can at least give it a shot yourself and see how you can create your perfect filled brow. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.